WWCR, Worldwide Christian Radio, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. From our studios in Nashville, Tennessee, we bring you Ask WWCR, a bi-weekly program that discusses the operation of WWCR and various topics of interest to all shortwave listeners. Ask WWCR is hosted by WWCR's operations manager, Brady Murray, and by WWCR's frequency manager, Dr. Jerry Plummer. Now, for the broadcast around the world, here is the current edition of WWCR. Welcome to Ask WWCR. This is program number 555, which is intended for broadcast November the 17th through December 1st, 2021. I'm Brady Murray, and I am joined in studio now by Dr. Uh, uh, Jerry Plummer. Uh, uh, Doc? It's true. Triple five program, and uh, this is almost two years uh, that we've done telephonically, and it's our, I, I got to say, Brady, it's a true pleasure to be sitting here in the studio with you, and, and when, we, when we started up, it took us some time to actually get their mics and everything working because it had been so long since we'd done it. Right. You know? We haven't used this studio in a good while. Right. And had to reconfigure. And yeah. Well, we kind of forgot what we had done to make it work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been used for live broadcasting in a while. But no, no. It hasn't changed. It's been two years it's since been... you've been here in studio. Yeah. I was thinking about that today coming over. Uh, I, the last time I was here, was about this time two years ago, just prior to the trip to HFCC Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. And I just barely made it back from that one about five days ahead of COVID. And uh, mm -hmm. I haven't been able to be here at all. But but I, uh, at school for the last two years, I was physically there three days. And that's it because of all this stuff. You right. Know? But I, I, sure, I sure am glad to be back with here with you in the studio today. And it was a pleasure seeing Alan. He has made it back. Uh, right. Uh, and he's, he's not 100%, but he's, he's definitely getting there. Right. Uh, so it's, it's a real pleasure to be sitting here in the studio with you and just to come into the, uh, as we call sometimes, the radio range. The radio range, right? <laughs> it's out of the house. I know you've done some things, but I think for the most part over the past couple of years, you've worked from home. I've worked from home, you know what I mean? Uh, when I say three days and two years at school, that uh, that's because everything shifted to online. So, I mean, I was still working, but mm -hmm. it's a whole lot different being there, you know. Than, and, and in fact, uh, it's been so long that I've even left that job and went to another university since then. Right. You know? so, starting soon. Starting soon, yeah. And I was thinking about it today. I said, gosh, three days and two years, and now I'm going to have to be there two days a week? I mean, you know, <laughs> is, that, is, that maybe, is that maybe less uh, similar to what, you know, we're hearing so much about? It's hard to find employees. You know, the hiring process in the United States has, has been tough. And you've told me you've, you've been working at it, it too. It has been you tough, know? yeah. Yeah, we've had employees gone for long periods of time we've had an employee who passed away yeah yeah and uh yeah it's hard and, then and you brought on uh, brought on a new guy you know we did yeah. uh, in the last month or so yeah, and right? uh, that's i understand that's still working out okay yes yeah that's yeah, good it seems that's to good. be uh yeah we've had an employee pass i mean it's it's, it's been it's been crazy the last it's been a crazy years. year 2020 was supposed to be crazy and i think 2021 yeah, probably was more so yeah. more so i bet for you 2021 from a transmitter part was more crazy you know transmitter parts as far as uh, uh you know the whatever it is causing everything to not be available uh, not only to not be available as far as the uh, raw materials but uh turnover uh, in places that make parts yeah yeah uh, you've got folks that are just doing their best to follow old plans or maybe those plans are missing but yeah we use a shop to make parts for our transmitters and uh we're fighting just like a lot of folks are you know we know what we need we're trying to keep the inventory the raw materials to make what we need may right. or may not be available right may or may not have the employees that made them before the yeah. drawings yeah yeah uh, we've certainly had a set of drawings uh that we've had to start to reinvent the wheel 
as you might say, yeah, uh, to come up with some new parts. So, well, you've got some uh, now. You were showing me uh, as I came in that they just got in, and you held them up to the originals, and they are not the same, no, no doubt. So, and, and they might work, but it's um, it's a learning curve. Doc. Yeah, uh, a lot of our listeners know that we've had some downtime. Some of that's just been due to you know multiple events at once, things yeah. that happen on occasion, then we'll run smooth for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, those transmitters are full of moving parts. Uh, no doubt. And uh, we uh, we had, a, in the past few days, we had a period of time where we were on air only on one frequency on a particular transmitter. And uh, they had just enough at this machine shop, just enough of the material that we needed. Right. To make just the one part that was just back on it. Yeah, that's amazing. And they're still expecting a delivery of more. Yeah, and, and so it's. I, I don't want the listeners to from HBCR to think that you know we're just slacking, we're not keeping up. We're having the same problems yeah. that everybody's had. You know, uh, I guess everybody tries to you know come up with the expression you always blame it on the quote unquote supply chain, and you know that may be true, but the real problem is this. The economy is here is, is really trying to bust loose. I mean, uh, you know, and you, you just have situations like where you're talking about, where they there's a turnover of employees, and sometimes you kind of don't like that because maybe the guys that built these parts uh, before they're not around anymore. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to train somebody, and in this case, you've got to kind of recreate the income, as Ernest Angley says. And, right. And you got to start over from scratch, but you kind of need these parts now. And I think, just to add to something like that, another example of it is, uh, aren't you kind of going through the changes to figure out how to get uh, a unit to a repair place now? There's a lot of changes. <laughs> We've also got a construction project going on here, and I, I really don't want to talk too much about that, but um, that's something that's not affected daily operation, but it's something that has to be taken care that of. you got to do, yeah. And it actually yeah. involved a full-fledged construction project mm -hmm. to remove uh, part of a cinder block built wow. uh, to gain access to it. So, you, you, in other words, you had to take the blocks apart to get to uh, access so you can get the part out of there, right? right? It, yeah. This particular part was installed really with no thought ever of removing it. Mm -hmm. You'd have mm -hmm. to dismantle the transmitter. Yeah. So, yeah, it took several minds uh, to come up with different plans, and ultimately somebody just looked at it and said, here's an easy way to do that, and it was just that aha moment. Yeah, like, wow, yeah, we, we yeah. talked about different ways to do this, mm -hmm. the different costs, the different crews. How do we, yeah. And here's something that's so simple, it's just going to well, work. You know, kind of tearing cinder blocks out of a building is, 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 seems like a major thing, you know, but... Uh, turns out that that's lesser of an evil than the rest of it was. Yeah, you know? it's all the details that go with it. I think Phil and I were, ran into that similar situation when different times when we were uh, uh, at CBB down in uh, uh, Anguilla. I mm -hmm. think somebody had put a part in and had never thought whatsoever about it ever having to come out in any sense. And I think a hole had to be dug there or uh, opened up there just to get access to it. Mm -hmm. And here, you not only got to get access to it, you got to get it out of there somehow. And it's probably a pretty, pretty weighty part, I think, isn't it? No. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but I am grateful. I will say that uh, uh, a longtime broadcaster with us on our medium waves is somebody who figured this out. And somebody with, oh my, decades of experience with what he does. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was down for about a month sick. Yeah. And uh, came back. Pastor White, you're talking about? Pastor yeah. White, yeah. And uh, Doc, I'll be honest with you, a lot of what I'm running into trouble with as far as uh, part replacement and things like that is people that are just new to jobs or trying mm -hmm. to do jobs they haven't done. Right. And I understand that people have transitioned out. You know, it was a, it was a frightening time. We shut down Everything that could be shut yeah, down, people yeah. were told to stay distant. And what we've lost, at least in this part of the world, not in the Nashville area, you've lost a lot of people that were problem solvers who yeah. said, look, I'm done. And oh, I've, yeah. I've yeah. been in this for a long time. And uh, yeah. so we've lost a group of people that were full of 
solutions and ideas yeah, that they yeah. developed over years and years and years. So. And uh, that's went away. And when that talent pool goes away like that, you got to retrain the new pool somehow. There's going to be some some drop off in execution. Uh, and I, I will say, you know, Phil Patton is our engineer, and he is excellent. But Phil's like me. We have certain jobs that we do to maintain. Mm -hmm. We're not people who machine parts. You know, yeah. this is this yeah. is a whole different area. Yeah. We can advise, ask, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. But in order to continue to keep WWCR on the air, uh, you know, we have to be here yeah. doing those things. We have to yeah. fit in other things here and there. So yeah. So you guys have been been both been learning a whole lot about different. Uh, uh, production methods, uh, I guess you'd say that you say that's really a not lot what I a lot. And that, a lot about that, a lot. That's not what I do. You know, and there's, but, there's also been some major internal changes um, as far as our uh, satellite systems. Yeah, a lot yeah. of things have gone to where, if necessary, a person could be in the building alone mm -hmm. uh, rather than two or three or four people at the yeah. same time. Yeah. And you know, hopefully that stuff's going to go away, but we'll see if people want to come back. Well, when they yeah. have some remote access, we always have to have people here. And I do get calls on occasion that, you know, some breaker has tripped. And I hate that for the broadcaster. I don't oh, like yeah. when the station's off the air. But when you have one person, and we've dealt with a ton of government regulation because we are in the city of Nashville, yeah. oh, which yeah. is kind of a curse and a blessing. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. But that sometimes is what we're dealing with. I I'll get calls sometimes from broadcasters who presume that uh, who's ever on duty is just not paying any attention. That's not the case. Couldn't be further from the truth. They're about five times busier than they've ever right. been. Yeah. And they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time because something unpredictable happened. Yes. Yeah. And, so, it, and it, you know, these things tend to add up. And when you, when you uh, kind of look at them under the microcosm of uh, less employees, then all of a sudden the job becomes bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, but I can tell you, uh, I know I haven't been here physically for two years, but but I can tell you that none of these things that happen are indicative of a board operator not doing their job. It's just they can't catch up to it. There's there's about four things in front of that to get, you right. get first. Right. You know? Well, they they the job works if everything goes perfectly. And Doc, anybody who's ever worked inside of a radio station knows that if a day passes where everything goes perfectly. Tomorrow should scare you. Something, yeah. Because something's yeah. always going yeah. wrong in a radio station. We've got six of them yeah. in the same building, yeah. right? And to make it even worse with us is four of these big monster shortwaves. Right. They're just uh, difficult in themselves, you know. But Doc, we're doing good with reception. Propagation's been kind to us. Mm -hmm. Our new uh, uh, winter season is upon us. I've had some mixed comments on that. Some frequencies people say come in better. Some say are coming in worse. Right. I look for that right. to settle over so. time. I think that we just went through a very abrupt change from our side of transmission where we lost about an hour and a half of yeah. daylight. Yeah, yeah it we sure in did. About seven days. And, there, and that's going to be, a, you know, generally speaking, every year you run into that week, like 10 days, couple of weeks. It's a little like bit that. unsettled. Yeah. Things are going to work out. And, Doc, I'm glad you're back here. And I just want to conclude this by asking those who listen to WWCR to please respond to the programs that you're listening to. Mm -hmm. uh, these are a lot of folks that are remote. Dealing with some of the same things. Right. If things are good for you, if you're able to listen, drop a line, an email, listen yeah. for the contact information, call the station, ask us for the contact we'll get, information. We've got it, yeah. Let these folks know that you're out there. Because they're in the same boat as all the rest of us sure are, are. You know? So, Doc, that's about all the time we've got. It's good to have you back here in studio. I'm glad to be back. And we're going to stay on course for somewhere around December the 1st yeah, okay. and do the next program. All, all right? right, sounds good. WCR is a presentation of WWCR Incorporated. If there are any questions that you would like to have answered during the show, send them to ask WWCR 1300 WWCR Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee 37218 USA. You can also send an email to askwwcr at www.com. That's askwwcr at 
www.wwcr.com. Be listening for your questions to be answered on the future editions of Ask WWCR. Thank you.